This is NJ's GH. Today I'm going to show you guys how to edit the registry for the uh, 500 series cards to enable some hidden features that are only available in the 1600 series. Okay, now the first thing that we want to look for is our software and our registry right here. We want to see um, where our registry is located for this. We want to right click it, copy select it, open up Notepad. Okay, right click it and uh, paste it. Right here is what we're going to look for. This is our tree and our roots, so this is how to get there. And our most important thing is we want to see our last four digits. If I can, if we can get it, there we go. Ours is six today. Let me get the magnifier on so you guys can see better. <clears throat> okay, ours is right here. It's, everyone's is going to be the same in our registry except for the last four digits. Some people may have it as one, two, three, all the way to seven or eight. For mine, this happens to be six. Okay, so keep that in mind, don't mind that. Now, after we're done and said with everything, this is what it's gonna look like. You wanna have your morphological filtering, and you wanna have your tessellation, AMD optimized, and use application settings. You can up it to 64 times, that's pretty badass because you're gonna make it look that much more better now. Um, I haven't really tested games. I'm going to do Bioshock today, as you can see over here. I just got done downloading Bioshock. I want to test it out and uh, look if I know it's a lot more different than the demo. I will post it. Okay, that. Now, someone also asked me about Power Profiles. The Power Profiles, as I know, is just the same thing as in Windows uh, Management. You can go in there. And it can um, activate your what kind of uh, power plan you want to use. I, mine is activated up to high performance, you know, and I can turn off the display or my computer to sleep. But it has nothing to do with the um, game itself. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Okay, let me exit here. We're going to go to start, go down here. Okay, we're going to type reg edit. And then we're going to see the reg edit exe right here. We're going to right click it, run as administrator, and notice how mine is all the way open already. Let me just uh, turn off my magnifier real quick so we can get a better view. Alright, there we go. Alright, so um, it'll just bring us up to here. Some of you guys it may bring to uh, something like this. But um, I already have mine expanded because I was editing it earlier. Alright, so we're going to go to the local machine right here. We're going to click on the little carrot and then we're going to go to system, control, set 01, control, class. And we're going to look for a class which is right here. You get the magnifier back on so you guys can see it. Okay, let me go back here. Okay, it's right here. 4D, da 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 da, I don't want to read it all. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. You notice how it says 06. Remember, your number is going to be different. <clears throat> if it's the same number, so be it. But if it's different, you got to go with what it says. <clears throat> so you notice how I was saying earlier, some people might have different numbers. Well, ours is 6. So we're going to click on 6. And right here is all our strings and values and datas. Okay. Now, the first thing that we want to do is change some of our settings here which I located on the uh, zip folder that you guys are going to see. Let me minimize this real quick. I've made a copy for you guys. Here it is. So you guys can uh, see it step by step so I don't have to go over it. Okay, let me go open it with WordPad. Okay, now um, it's going to tell me step by step how to do it. And we're going to edit these ones right here but um, I made it step by step so you because I want to make this video as short as possible if I were to tell you step by step and everything would take like at least 10 15 minutes it's, uh, it's a little time consuming but it's pretty easy I mean I, I copied it from uh, East Coast Handler which is right here by Domino's Food all right on the tech power up website 
I put that link inside the file so you guys can see his post. And if you have questions, you can register. If not, if you registered already, you can just keep asking. Okay. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Uh, once you're done, you're gonna click on uh, Control Alt Delete. <clears throat> You're going to go start the task manager and you're going to look for the process called mom. Where are you, mommy? Okay, there we are. You're going to right click it and process. And you know what? I just remembered something. Let me get back to that real quick. When we're at the registry, we have to always, always, always back up your registry. File, export, and then save your name to backup. Uh, I'll save it on my desktop. Okay? Because in case we ever screw up something, we always have our backup. Because without our backup, you're pretty much screwed. So, whenever you're editing registries, always create a backup. Okay, guys? Then once you're done with that, you can exit it. After you're done with the steps, you can um, go back to what I was saying. <clears throat> once you cancel that mom, you're going to type mom.exe and you're going to click enter. And what it does is it's going to show up the Catalyst Control Center. If you did it correctly, you should have these enabled. Alright guys, uh, that's it for now. Let me see, uh, I think my pizza's ready, so I gotta go pick that up. Uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll get back to you guys later. Bye.